it's it's honestly it's the least of our worries. Our, our, our pitching staff, uh, you know, from the starting rotation to the bullpen, I feel I feel very confident that we've got uh, one of the best, if not the best, uh, complete staffs to to start a season. Um, you know, whether we got we we got starters that can go seven, eight, nine innings, and we've got relievers that can have an entire bullpen day and absolutely dominate guys. So. Um, the work that they put in, whether they were here in San Diego at home or in Arizona, um, I know all of them were working their butts off, and every single guy came into has come into summer camp uh, in, ex- in in excellent shape, and um, and it, it's really shown in these games so far. I think everybody stood out to me the most. I'm blown away with uh, the maturity um, and the confidence in all of our young guys, whether it's C.J. Abrams. Um, whether it's Mercado, whether it's Gore, whether it's Weathers, like there's so many guys from the pitching and offensive side that I've been blown away by and uh, they, 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 they can hold their own. It's, it blows me away because I remember when I was their age, if I was in some sort of big league camp, I'd be scared out of my mind playing against all these guys with, with Haas and Machado on the same field and they just don't seem phased at all and it really pumps me up for the future. Double go to Marty Caswell. Hey, Austin. Uh, Chris Paddock has never been one to lack for confidence, but what's been different about him year two, stuff-wise and personality-wise? He's just growing as a, as a man, as a baseball player each and every day. He just, he's, he's, just, he, he's never satisfied with wherever he's at. You know, he had, a, he had an outstanding rookie season, um, but the, I know the goals that he has for himself and for this team and how he wants to be able to lead this team as, um, you know, if not – the ace as you know one of our five aces because I love all of our guys um but what he's he, he's you know he's he's fine-tuning that curveball um he obviously has that elite fastball command and that changeup that we all know about but um I just think he's kind of growing into himself as a man and he's uh he, he he's in outstanding physical shape I I thought he looked taller like I, I don't know if you're if you grow at that age but he just he just looks like he just looks like a grown man that is only in his sophomore season. And uh, I've, got, I've got pretty high expectations for him as well. And Tommy Pham, what is Tommy Pham like, I guess not really in the locker room, as a, as a teammate on the field? Have you ever had a teammate quite like him? No, he's one of a kind. That's, uh, there's no off switch in that guy. It's about as intense as, as it gets. And uh, the edge that he brings to this team is, uh, is second to none and something that um, I think we've really been um, – we've really needed for a long time here. Um, you know, capable of holding guys accountable, whether you're a rookie or whether you're Manny or Haas. Like, this is a guy that can really lead a clubhouse by example um, with the way that he shows up on a daily basis. I mean, this guy just doesn't stop. He is always working to get better, never satisfied. Um, you know, this guy's here for one reason, that's to win ball games, And he makes that very clear. And that's the reason we got him. And every single day that I'm around him, I feel like he helps me be a better player and a better teammate. And you know, helps me be able to help guys win more ball games because when it all comes down to it, that's what we're here for. And last thing for me, um, as far as getting caught like at the pool party, who, which of your teammates give you the most grief about that situation? Everyone. <laughs> I, that's just, I mean, that's just, that's just, that's what I signed up for. I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit loud and outspoken in the clubhouse, but always trying to keep everybody, uh, keep everybody in line, keep everybody on the same page. And, you know, I'm not, I'm definitely the first one to throw jabs at everybody. So everybody, mm-hmm. you know, felt free to, to throw some jabs at me and and that's how we grow from and that's how we learn Our next question we'll go to Jake yeah Austin just kind of uh, hope all as well just kind of piggybacking off that how did you use that you know that situation with that photo as a, as a Jay said he was really proud of the way you kind of owned it and used it as a as a learning curve or a lesson for the team you know how did you address the team with that and use that uh, moving forward yeah I mean uh, that's that's something that I I uh, I take a lot of pride in is just taking ownership when you screw up, whether you, whether you did it on purpose or not, you know, things happen and you don't always make the wisest of decisions. Um, but all we can do is, is learn from it and grow and not make that same mistake twice. So, you know, I had plenty of conversations with, with Jace, with AJ, with, and, and with all my teammates and all the guys have my back and, and I have their back. And I think they know that, um, especially now that I would never put them in harm's way and, you know, obviously needed to learn from something and, and I, and I have, and now it's up to me to say, Hey, like I was held accountable. Now I need to hold other guys accountable because where it all comes down to it, the most healthy team at the end of this year might end up being the world champ because they didn't get sick or for whatever reason. So I'm taking, uh, you know, a lot of pride in making sure I can help 
hold these guys accountable so we don't make that same mistake and we just kind of stay tight knit and worry about winning ball games here. When, when it comes to this whole COVID thing, it's, it's, it's new for everybody, any sort of pandemic, any sort of thing like this, like, you know, what are, what are you supposed to do? And, and I think sadly, like in a lot of situations in life where you've, you haven't been through it, it takes failing at it to learn from it. And, you know, I, I obviously made a mistake and I've learned from it and I'm not going to do that again. So um, I, I just think it just comes down to anything in life that, that you experience for the first time and you might suck at it for a minute, but it's about who responds the quickest and I have responded and now I know what I got to do. So it's all behind me. Uh, and I know the team knows that and I'm just going to be one of the advocates to make sure, you know, no one, it doesn't happen to anybody else and we all stay safe and healthy. You've worked on so much stuff over the course of the, the, your career offensively. I'm wondering if there's something specific different this time. And I wonder if it's maybe based in an approach more of, say, getting on base and um, letting the power just come because you're a strong dude. Or, or, or what is it this time that has you feeling pretty confident? That, that sums up a, a lot of it, Kevin. It's, it's, it's a lot of getting on base. It's uh, – I mean, Ting's made that pretty clear. It's like, hey, if you want to play in this team, you got to get on base. So, I mean, as simple when it's simply put, like I got to get on base somehow. Um, but yeah, things are things are pretty simple, um, you know, from a mechanical standpoint. But it's about ninety nine percent mental adjustments. It's uh, um, I work with Damian Easley every single day, and Morgan Burkhart, and and Ting, and and, and a bunch of other guys on these things. And and the one thing that they try and hold me accountable and the rest of the team accountable to is sticking to your plan, whatever your plan is that you've mapped out that you've uh, you've voiced to the rest of the coaching staff to help them hold you accountable. It's now up to you to do that on a daily basis. And it's a lot less, a lot less mechanically focused uh, drill work and um, even in games and stuff. So um, I've got an approach that I'm ready to go execute and I'm going to, and I'm going to ride or die with it. And it's because sometimes it's hard to, uh, it's hard to stick with something when it doesn't work for a couple days and you want to change. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay pretty stubborn with this, um, and, and I do. I have, I have a lot of high expectations and, uh, and a lot of confidence coming into this year for it.